Right, round four. I mean, this isn't terrible, but we can do better. Like, that hand wasn't terrible. It loses to force plus wasteland, which is what I tried to avoid. It was close to a keep. See, this I'm much happier with. Um... Bottom, bottom, bottom. There's an argument to be made that you should keep the... Um, you should keep the bridge because you want a card to discard. There's nothing to naturally discard, but obviously that makes the hand very bad against the card. Force of will. Um, so I'd rather just keep... And it looks like this is some sort of degenerate nonsense. Uh, Trinisphere, good thing we have uh, Cephalic Colosseum, which is like, Cephalic Colosseum hands are so much better. Like, imagine we kept that first hand. Like, it wasn't even a bad hand, necessarily. That first seven wasn't a bad hand, but we'd, we'd be losing right here. Unless we, unless, we drew a, unless we drew a third land, obviously, which is possible. We could, we could have possibly drawn a third land there. But as it currently stands, we're just, like, super-duper winning with this. Unless he has, like, second soul land into Khan. But even if he has second soul land into Khan, he can't cast the... Um, can't cast the stuff. Because of the uh, because of the Trinosphere. Another important thing to remember is that you can cast the card Hogak through Trinosphere, which is hilarious and uh, never ceases to excite me. Um, there's nothing there's nothing more fun than casting Hogak through Trinosphere. Hogak's just so good. So, I mean, I could attack here, but um, I don't really see any point. It's better just to cast a Hogak. Um, obviously, I can't use Cabal Therapy because of Trinosphere. This is looking pretty good for us right now. I want to know whether it's the Colorless uh, Eldrazi Post deck or the green Eldrazi post deck. This looks like the colorless Eldrazi post deck which means that the deck is much weaker uh, bleh, not weaker much more likely to have ley lines post board. So he could cast Khan here. Okay I mean Thought not here you're dead I think. Takes eight 8 plus 9, that's lethal. I think 17 damage. Congrats, you saw a faithless looting I can't cast. So this looks like standard colorless Eldrazi post. So this deck does bring in ley lines. The green one does not normally. So there's no way for him to block and survive here, which is good. Yeah, that first hand wasn't terrible, but uh, I don't know. I mean, we got kind of lucky to draw to draw a dredger straight off, but uh, we had a decent number of hits there. I don't know, it's tough to say. Um, so what's bad against Killless Eldrazi Post? Obviously all of the one mana stuff's a bit bad. Ash and White is obviously what you want. You can go down to three Icarids. You want all of the Leyline answers. Um, so then you get into the stuff that's sort of okay. You can bring in Ox. Ox isn't terrible. You could also bring in another Petal which is probably what I'd normally do. Um, or you could leave in the fourth Icarid. Um, the, the sort of flex card that's left after all of this is the is one Cabal Therapy. Um, 
as you saw that cabal therapy was just like a dead card but isn't it i do like keeping cabal therapies in just because it's like an all-round good card like it's good before you go off it help, can help you discard it's good after you go off um but i think i will bring in lotus petal um just because i like having fast mana in these sort of matchups it's not necessarily correct um Uh, I don't think we can keep this even though it has an answer to Leyline. Because the hand does nothing. Now this is a keep. This hand is bananas. Hopefully he doesn't Leyline plus chalice me. And we can have a nice game of magic. Don't do it bro. Okay. Okay, well we're we're a bit nuts right now. His hand looks really slow, so I think we just kill him here. No, we drew a second breakthrough for good measure because if he'd have thought not seared us, we'd have. Though I don't think I'd have done that. If if we'd have if we if we'd have got thought not seared and lost our breakthrough there, I think I would have just cracked the line by diamond because we have a second one. Um, come on, come on! We got ox in the deck. What is that? So having the lotus pedal there, we're getting punished. But not super punished, because what we can still do, even though we didn't hit a Cabal Therapy. I mean, there's no guarantee that that was the Lotus Pearl that we sided in, but we still hit Ashen Rider and um, Dread Return. So even if he grabs, he's got Khan, um, he just loses to this board, so... This is fine for us, even though we kind of bricked the... But that was that would be one of the good reasons to bring Ox in, because it, it, it increases your chances of hitting. And it's also like a looting that you can hit through... Um, a looting that you can cast through Chalice, which is a pretty big deal. And uh, yeah, he just scoops the match. That was pretty simple. Uh, but we did get very good hands uh, in game two there. We knew what we needed to do. We knew what we couldn't keep. And uh, yeah. Beating the Leyline decks. Beating the Leyline decks isn't actually that difficult. As long as you're willing to just mulligan. Um, one of the reasons I think the London mulligan improve the deck is although your opponent can always hit ley line um you can mull to answers to ley line and destroy the ley line and has still have a playable hand the problem was before is that if you were playing against a ley line deck sometimes you just had to roll the dice like once you got to five cards you couldn't realistically mulligan because the chances of you having a, a hand that's playable and also has an answer to ley line was just like so low. Now with the London Mulligan, because you've got five ley line answers and they've only got four ley lines, you can mulligan. And I mean the deck mulligans really well already. Like you're happy to go to four every game and still 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 play a good game of Magic. Um, the ability to do that, uh, and also try and get ley line answers is. I think overall improved the deck's ability to play versus Leyline, um, which is a bit anti, what would you say, 
It's not what you'd immediately think. But obviously it's got the flip side of now blue decks are more incentivized to play Leyline because it's more reliable that they'll get Leyline in their opening hand and then that's terrible for us. That's much worse for us for the same reason that it's easier for us to find a Leyline plus. But it's easier, it's easier for us to find an answer to Leyline and a playable hand. It's also easier for our opponents to find a Leyline plus a way to protect the Leyline. So, I mean, there's positives and negatives, but most people haven't cottoned on to the fact that ley lines are actually really good in blue decks yet, so we can punish them.